Welcome to Germany vs USA, and today we're on the Autobahn. Woo! So we're actually on the Autobahn. We finally are doing the Autobahn episode. You guys have been waiting for it for a long time. We are sitting in the, in the big SUV and are riding towards Hamburg, I guess. And uh, the first thing I guess that we have to talk about is the lack of a speed limit, right? Right. Everything, Americans especially, just love to think the Autobahn is this 5,000 miles of just balls to the wall, no speed limit. And there are some places like that. Actually, earlier, we were going, what, about 220 kilometers? Right, right. Uh, so that is, ooh, what is that? It's like 140. 40, I guess. Yeah, about 140, 150 miles per hour. Pretty fast. Uh, now we're not. We're we've slowed down a little we're bit. We're actually 100 miles. Actually, we're going yeah. right now. So we're doing about kilometers. 70. Yep. 100 miles. We're oh, we're doing. Yeah. We're at 100 right now. You can't tell in this tank. <laughs> um, but yeah, so the speed is way different, and because of that, the as we've mentioned in previous driving videos, the laws are more strict. And the very first thing that comes to mind is the left lane. Right. It's very actually so if you are in the left lane on the German Autobahn, you have to be fast actually. <laughs> because um, otherwise, you're uh, gonna have a lot of people behind you who are gonna honk at you. Well, they, they're not allowed to, but they will be mad at you because you might be too slow for the uh, left lane actually. Right, that's actually a good point. If you flash people or honk or crowd someone on the Autobahn and you get caught doing it, you can go to court. So it's a it's a fence that actually can be tried. So it's not just a ticket, it's a pretty big deal. And if you're like a driver from Ohio where mm -hmm. you like to be in the left lane, a left lane Lucy. Just hanging out there. Yeah, you can't do that. No. Um, but with that, there's not you don't see a lot of cops. No. Well usually they have like the automated like traffic regulations where um, flashers. Flashers the blitzer. Um, and so you gotta be careful with those. Uh, they will just take a picture of you basically and kind of like see a flash so that always so if you have that on a German Autobahn That is usually a bad sign because it will cost you some money, right? You're gonna get a ticket mm -hmm. where in the States Depending on which major highway you are you're gonna have cops every so many miles and there'll be state troopers County sheriffs actual police DEA you just, AFA and it's right. you never know you can have all types of stuff, you know, um, or AFT rather. So, but you'll mainly see state troopers, and they'll right. pull you over for speeding. Right. So you're not. Sometimes you'll get a flasher, mm -hmm. but that's usually in the city. Okay. Um, like if you're rolling through an intersection. Or something, okay. And, and it's more and more uncommon. Okay. Okay. Also, another thing is you are not allowed to stop on the autobahn. So, um, of course, if you break down, you know the well, that's fine. But you are not allowed to stop. Um, and also, even on the side, and also like, if, for instance, if you have an empty tank, like if you're, if you're out of gas, basically, and you have to stop, you will also get a ticket, because you, I guess, should have filled up before that. Um, and the other thing is that's kind of, that Jim, earlier we talked, we were talking about like the gas stations, and Jim called them like NASCAR pit stops. Yeah, it's like a NASCAR pit stop in the sense if you need gas, you can pull off, and instead of getting off onto like a side road or an exit, like you in the States, it will just literally be right, right off, just one on off right. road, and you fill up real quick and you're right back on it. It's really convenient. Yeah, it's very convenient. Whereas in the States, you always have to get to take an exit and drive to like a gas station, sometimes even a couple of miles, perhaps, or you know, at least a couple of yards. Um, but yeah, here you just get off and you go. Just right back but, at it. But it's also the gas prices are very high at the Autobahn. So. Yeah, the gas prices are a lot higher in Europe in general. Right, uh, that's but, the other thing. But, but actually, like if you if you were to get off the Autobahn and drive a couple kilometers to go to the gas station, you probably save like five to ten cents per liter. Also, you have that in the states. Yes, too. same, right? Yeah, just yeah. if you convenience is pricey. There you go, America. <laughs> My biggest thing that I first discovered with the Autobahn is there are speed limits. And I've mentioned this in previous videos, uh, but it's it's a it's almost like an American myth mm -hmm. because you hear about the Autobahn, you know it was invented uh, you know right during World War II, and then we invented our interstate system, mm -hmm. you know, basically inspired by it. 
Um, and then you have Americans come over here specifically so they can test cars and drive. Right. And so, but it, it's more of a myth. I mean, it's a functional highway. Right. You know, you have not everywhere you're just going to be speeding. It's true. And actually, the, it's like right now we are. Um, we're going like 160 kilometers per hour, I guess. And, but we just came from like a, an area where, where it was limited to 120, and we're gonna get a couple, like construction very soon. So it's not like you can go for like two hours full speed. Uh, no, actually, like it's, it's very different. You'll have a lot of limitations. And that is actually very exhausting when you're driving. Because and you also have to be concentrated a lot more because people are like driving so fast, um, and people. I think that's like for me. I enjoy driving in the states or in, in France way more than I do enjoy driving the autobahn. Another important point that I wanted to mention because I just think it's really cool. Mm -hmm. If you are ever on the autobahn and for some reason you do break down, every two kilometers there's a phone with a dispatcher on it that you can call for help. And if you don't speak German they will speak English. Mm -hmm. So it's like a really cool, just fun, like, all right, if I'm having an awful day and I don't know what else to do, mm -hmm. you can get help on Autobahn. Yeah, you can talk to the dispatcher in English. I'm, I'm not sure if his English or her English is going to be fantastic, but... It, so basically, I mean, I'm pretty sure once you pick up the, that phone, they're going to be like, like all right, okay. someone in, in, in help needs help Someone here. shouting help, <laughs> yeah. fire, it's like, oh, okay, well, I guess we're going to send someone. <laughs> so that's it from the Autobahn. We're having a good time, going fast, and we want to hear some of your uh, Autobahn stories, I guess. And we're going to be in Hamburg in about half an hour, and then we're going to have some food. Maybe less if he steps on it. Okay. Y'all take it easy. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs>